A lot of things came together to lead me to this idea. One was a real concern about the inequities in our country. I organized a conference on educational inequity my senior year as part of business today. Another was that um, I was a college senior and I was in a funk and our generation was known as the me generation. That's all people could say about us. We all wanted to go work on Wall Street and make a lot of money, and I just thought, this is nuts. I don't know one person who's dying to do that. They may have existed, but I didn't know them. Everyone I knew was searching for a way to make a real difference, and I just thought, you know what? Why aren't we being recruited as aggressively to commit two years to teach in urban and rural areas as we are being recruited to commit two years to work on Wall Street? I became really more and more obsessed with as every day went by. And this was an idea that was meant to happen. I, I would say this idea to people that was so obvious. I would tell people and they would say, doesn't that exist? That must exist. Because it, it was just like one of those things. I finally realized no one's doing this and it has to happen now. Like I was thinking like this generation is dying to do this. I was blessed with a lot of naivete. I just wrote people and asked for meetings and seven of them agreed to meet with me. One of them ended up giving me an office. One said, oh, sure, I'll give you a seed grant. I spent the summer meeting anyone who would talk to me. That was very few people. I mean, I had no credibility, but one thing would lead to another. Everyone I met had one concern. I mean, you'll never believe what it was. They all thought this was a brilliant idea. College students would never do this. I mean, no one believed this would work. Cause, and that was the one thing I actually had reason to be confident about, having just been a college senior. So the entire plan became, we're gonna show these people. I mean, we had no money, we had nothing. I don't know what we were thinking. I found other recent grads. We found 100 students at 100 campuses. 2,500 people applied in four months. Some journalists at the New York Times thought this was like real news. They wrote an article. These funders who I'd talked to were like, you're kidding. How? How's that possible? Students, at, like 170 students at Yale left on an answering machine, believe it or not, messages saying, we wanna do this. And this reporter was like, you're kidding, 170 students? Anyway, it all kind of went from there. <laughs>